I don't think Twitter comes and says like, oh, look at Armin is blaspheming against Hinduism. But we have already spent the time and resources to look into this. And we have determined that he hasn't violated rules. But because we don't want to piss off Indian government, we're going to restrict. No, come on. That's conspiracy level stuff, right? I'm, al I'm almost sure, almost, not 100%. I'm almost sure that if any actual human being on Twitter who is not like personally connected to any of these political ideology takes half a minute to look at my what's happening to my account. If an actual human being, they will be like, yeah, okay, this was wrong and they will undo it. Don't, don't do conspiracy theories. Okay. They're not like, Oh, we have, we need to make, no, come on. We need to not piss off Indian government. Oh, but like they they actually look at my account like, Oh, Armin is doing anti Hindu stuff, but, but we, we don't want to let him No, uh, You must shame Twitter by exposing your bias towards Hinduism. They allow Islamic and Christian cartoons. That's the language Twitter understands. I don't think again, I don't think they're being ideologically biased. I think that would be conspiracy level stuff. I think they, the Hindu people just managed to have a much more higher level of butt hurt, has managed to get them um, more mobilized into creating a report, mass reporting campaign. They have become more effective. Their numbers have managed them, has managed them, managed to make them a more effective butt hurt campaign to go after accounts they don't like, you know? So they become a lot better at this than Muslims or woke people. Uh, that I think that's, I think that's a numbers game. So I don't think there's any, I don't think there's any ideological bias by Twitter that is happening. Ten companies have a trend of succumbing to undemocratic demands from countries like China and India because billions of people, potential customers. Yes, I've, I, I do agree with that. But when they succumb to them, it's not like, hey, let's, you know, let's tell our appeal team to be in favor of Islam or Hinduism. That's not how they succumb to it. They're just like, okay, fine. If you're, if people from India or China file a legal complaint against one of our tweets, we'll then hide that tweet in Pakistan or in India or in China like that. Okay. They're not going to tell train their team to be like, Hey, these ideas don't violate our rules, but because, you know, but the, but the, you know, maybe Hinduism, Hinduism attacking Hinduism is not okay. Like, no, they do, that's not how they succumb to it. They do succumb to it, but that that's not in that way. KG is saying wonder when Twitter itself gets banned in India, like China. No, I don't think that they have banned many Chinese apps like TikTok already. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, so yeah, again, y y just remember that India and United States are very close right now. India and China are not that close. They have border disputes, right? So taking a position against an American company like that is not as likely. So sometimes, sometimes an anti TikTok position is mostly is also not just about and the issue the government has about a certain app, but it's also about a certain country that I have a problem with, right? So again, the relationship between India and TikTok is more about the relationship of India with China and Twitter is American. And yeah, uh, India is right now pretty close to United States. Um, some Hindu mobs have professional accounts for mass reporting. They have support from some, yeah, inside Twitter. I know, I know, but that again, that's not Twitter itself. That's some um, ideologically driven staff that they are taking advantage of, right? So if we could find somebody on Twitter that will help us just take a look at our accounts, that would be amazing. Um, let's look at this comment by worst gamer ever saying, you're wrong on this Armin. Twitter has a history of policing and this point, if they aren't investing in the appeal process, they're not willing to not because they can't. I th okay. Mm, they have a history of policing. Yeah, they, ha they do have a history of policing, but not in defense of Hinduism. 
I don't think so. I think I don't think so. Do you have any proof on this? I don't think Twitter is like, we must defend Hinduism. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think this is just them not caring enough to. It's mostly this is a function of the mass reporting campaigns and Twitter not caring enough to actually look at the appeal. Yeah, it's the sheer amount that they're not yeah. used to, probably. Yeah. Um, um, what? Do you have anything you want to say? If you have yeah, any I forgot about, now. Yeah, I forgot oh. what I was going to say now. I, I interrupted you because I'm Yeah, way to go. You're always like that. I'm <laughs> Well, I'm using my male privilege. What are you going to do? I know. I know. Can you say? People are like, oh, I mean, you know, you have to recognize your ch male privilege. Yeah, I recognize it. And I'll take advantage but of it. But I'm white and I'm a woman. So I guess I'm like mm. ultimately the worst now, right? The Karen of the world. No, but you're a woman and I'm a man. And I pass and I, I've been told I pass as white. Yeah. We are so. the guardian of the white lands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad you didn't say the other thing. I, I know. I'm used yeah. to that. Don't worry. <laughs> um, worst gamer guy saying this is beyond mass reporting. Suspensions are reviewed in person. What the episode? Uh, watch the episode on Joe Rogan. Maybe you're right. Maybe, but I think you know if um, if they're reviewed in person, I do think that they might have like an insider guy. For me. That does not this like that is not like necessarily might not reflect Twitter as a whole, right? I think it's possible that these Hindutva for people, because the sheer number of them, they have a whole bunch of people that think like them that work for Twitter. Like it's not coming from the higher ups. Twitter is like let's defend Hinduism. It's just like a whole bunch of people there. But I mean, that's like, why. It's, yeah, sorry, that's like higher. yeah, go on. Go on. Delay. Yeah, it's like when you, some of the Islamic stuff gets taken down, it seems like there's definitely a Muslim there sitting there and hating it and sh taking it down. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, I mean, in tech companies hire a lot from India, from India. So, I mean, if they're looking for, if they hired a whole bunch of people from India, like, okay, take down hate speech. And if you're a Hindu and you see one of my tweets, they're like, like oh yeah this is definitely hate speech right so it might be by accident it might be because they purposefully like have somebody there uh, by accident it just goes to a lot of hindus that they that are reviewing my tweets or they might have somebody working there i just don't see it coming from the higher up of twitter saying like oh yeah protect hinduism i, I just don't see it that's why every time i say like twitter is enforcing blasphemy rules yeah i don't say I say Twitter is effectively enforcing blasphemy rules. I use the word effectively to just imply that I'm not saying they're doing that on purpose, right? It just seems like unfair that they're taking you down and not others that are doing yeah. worse. Yeah, they just have bigger mass reporting campaigns. Yeah, that's I, all. We just have to bring attention to Twitter. Like, guys, your system, your method, your... Your system sucks if it could be taken advantage by this many people. Maybe Twitter, I mean, the, again, I mean, Hindus are, there's just so many Hindus, right? So maybe Twitter, like the numbers that's supposed to trigger these things are so high that it was not meant for this large of a mob to yeah. ever be able to take, like, like maybe Twitter underestimated how big the, the Hindu Twitter mob could be. Yeah. No kidding. Um, do you know how many people on Twitter right now are celebrating my account being taken down? Really? Just, oh my God, they're all like... What was that news story? Good news for all Hindus. Yeah, no, they're having that again right now. Like, they're, they're, I, I'm, pretty, I, I'm almost sure that they're going to have celebrations like in India right now. Like, there are so many people that are, That's they're so having... That's so funny. They're just, they're so happy. Like, on, on Facebook and Twitter. Like, they're having an online celebration. Like... Deborah, it's not, it's not like just one or two. Like, it's not, it's not intense. It's like so many. There are just so many of them there. They're just like clapping right now, high, like virtually high-fiving each other. It's crazy. But like for what? I think the whole t country teamed up against just you personally. Not the whole country. I mean, well, I mean, all them, them the ones that uh, yeah, are yeah. butthurt. Yeah, I mean, okay, so here's the thing. People say this is a small percentage of people in India. Yeah, but this is the thing, though. It's India a huge population. So, it's just so big that a small percentage would just be a huge number, right? Totally. Yeah. 